Welcome to Marty Land, where we tell you about Marty, this guy, my dad, and the stupid shit that we've talked about for the last 22 years. Welcome to Marty Land, where we tell you how to live your life, but we don't really. Welcome to Marty Land, where we tell you the things that we think we know about Marty Land, but we actually don't know at all. <laughs> Welcome to Marty Land, where we tell you great ideas about simple thoughts. Welcome to Marty Land, where we're gonna laugh, cry, and we're gonna tell you something you didn't already know. Welcome to Marty Land, so simple, no one can figure it out. Including me. Or me. Together, we won't figure it out. Alright. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Your lives stay part of the team. I do this for you. All the naysayers and haters who made me one of the greatest. I know it kills you inside, that's why I do this for you. I do this for my father, who I've only seen from time to time in my dreams. I do this for you. I do this for my mother. Welcome to Marty Land. Maddie's here. It's so simple. No one can figure it out. Did you get it? Rolling. It's just a way to counter it. Alright. Welcome back to the latest episode of Marty Land, the first where we're doing a real sit down with the actual Marty, my dad. Hey, dad. Hey there, it's nice to be on my own show. <laughs> um, for those who do not know what Marty Land is, uh, we're going to kind of explain what that is here on this first episode of Sit Down with Marty. We can talk about what we want the name to be later on. I kind of wanted to start the show off just by giving everyone a quick rundown. I've explained it in my last episode of what Marty Land is a little bit, kind of like a utopian world where it is everything is the way that you wish it could be, but I want you to give like a more in-depth description of what, okay. it, what it is to you. Okay, you know, it, 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 we all have our own little world in our head that we, uh, that we think is maybe the perfect world even though there's no such thing, but uh, when you were growing up, uh, sometimes when things didn't go the way we wanted them to, uh, I would say, well, Marty Land, this is the way we would do it. So it was just kind of a fictional place in my head. Uh, and then it's really, it's really a concept of logic and just trying to do what makes sense all the time without labels, without politics. There's a tough one. Uh, and, and that's really it. It's a little nebulous sometimes, but uh, Marty Land doesn't, uh, doesn't judge and Marty Land is a safe place to be. That's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so when I was growing up uh, in Marty Land, we always talked about the big picture and the big picture, at least what I got from when my dad would tell me that to focus on the big picture was focus on the obviously the big idea of things, but have have a specific goal, but be concerned with the greater of everything that's going on. Consider every little part that comes in to create the whole, but get to where you need to go, but don't have a narrow lens. Be focused on everything that's going on. Okay. Um, what is what is the big picture? Truly, to you, for Marty Land. Yeah, you know the the big picture is we're all on this planet together, and I think we can probably figure out a better way to get along. Uh, you know, the the current uh, climate today is very negative, and I think if you sat down and uh, took all seven billion people and interviewed each one of them one at a time in this room here you'd find out that we're way more similar than we are different and that most of the differences that we argue about are really kind of accidents of birth you know uh, the one thing nobody chose was how they were born you know we we were born the way we are and nobody chooses that we don't choose our race and uh, and a lot of people are born into their their religion and sometimes they stay with it and sometimes they change it and decide to adopt another philosophy uh, which is cool uh, but the underlying goodness that's in all of us I think really really wants the same thing 
And what's that? To be happy on a day-to-day -day basis and to feel like we've accomplished uh, whatever it is, what, 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 you know, no matter what you do, to feel like you've made a difference and that the people you interact with come away being better off for having interacted with you. So be nice in Marty Land. All right, so we kind of understand what Marty Land is, but you're never really gonna understand what it is. You're gonna have to completely indulge and you're gonna have to subscribe down below to make sure you really understand what it is. So I guess the second question I wanted to ask you today, thanks for being here, by the way. You're welcome. Um, the second question that I wanted to ask you today so that they all get to understand a little bit of where I'm coming from as far as the big picture, but with all the shitty things going on today, either whether it be politically or natural disasters, what can people think about on a day-to-day -day basis? Or rather, what can people focus on on a day-to-day -day basis to keep their spirits up or to, to stay motivated as opposed to watching all the nonsense that they see on the news or on Facebook? You know, uh, I think I learned this from an old episode of The Waltons. Uh, <clears throat> John Boy was having his weekly crisis, whatever, with a girl, whatever it was, I don't know. And uh, his dad said to him, John Boy, everybody goes through the same things. The only thing that separates us is how we deal with them. So we all think our story is unique. Uh, there's a lot of tragedy going on out there. There's a lot of, a lot of great things. Uh, I think we focus too much on the tragedies and the negatives. Uh, nobody controls the weather, it's coming. Uh, Harvey was horrible, Irma's in the midst of being horrible. Uh, but you, you saw how, you saw the, the best of everybody, you know, in the aftermath of that. And, but we don't, we don't need to wait for disaster for that to happen. There's a lot of very, very good things that go on every second of the day that we never hear about. And it's really about where we want to put our focus. Uh, our focus is on negativity. Conflict seems to sell. Uh, what's popular on TV right now? Reality TV. And the central theme of every one of those shows is conflict. Uh, happiness doesn't come from outside sources. It comes from inside of you. So, get happy. The first and only law of Marty Land. Get happy and do it now. It's an order. Well, shit, that was a good answer. Thanks. It's a good welcome. question. Yeah. All right, Dad. You talked about happiness and how it comes from within, and... Fuck. My brain farted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dad. You mentioned happiness and how it comes from within, but how... How come today people seem maybe a little bit less happy than than, than they, they should be. Maybe I'm just getting older and that's a part of getting older, but I'd say today people generally just do not seem as happy as they could be. But why is that? Um, we learn to be unhappy. You know, when you, uh, the perfect example are children. You look at children, they don't need a reason to be happy. They'll skip across the parking lot at recess for no reason, just because they're happy. They don't need an event. Uh, to make them happy and uh, it really does come from within it's a decision it sounds corny but it's really powerful uh, at my store one day uh, a gentleman came in and he was wearing a t-shirt that said where do you work by the way uh, I work for sit and sleep your mattress superstore and he came in wearing a t-shirt that said I'll be happy when I'm dead and uh, obviously I had to ask him about it. I said, what, what the hell's going on with that, man? That seems really dark. What's the deal? And he said, well, it's not as dark as you think it is. He says, it's really about being happy right now. But we have a tendency when we get older, we learn to not be happy right now. But I got something to look forward to that's going to make me happy. So, uh, you know, if I'm in school and uh, I get out at 3 o'clock, man, I'm going to be happy when it's 3 o'clock. Because I'll be out of school then. 
and then, uh, you know, gee, I'll be happy when I get into high school because I'm in middle school now and I want to be one of the big kids and I want to be cool. And then when I'm in high school, geez, I'll be happy when I'm in college. I can't wait to get into college. And gee, I'll be happy when I graduate. And gee, I'll be happy when I do this. And gee, I'll be happy when I do this. And then you, if you extend that all the way, it's it's really what was on the guy's t-shirt. I'll be happy when I'm dead. So that's really a hell of a way to live if you think about it. So once again, I would say be happy now and, and be happy with yourself. Uh, don't look don't look for happiness from other people. We can certainly get happiness from other people. I get a little bit of happiness from this guy right here. But uh, but it all started with me. <laughs> And that's all the time we have for this latest episode of Marty Land. Thanks again, Dad, for coming along. Thank you. Love always, you. Always a pleasure. Love you, too. And uh, please have me back. i got a few more nuggets for you. Hey, you know, we'll put in a good word with the, with the boss lady, and we'll see what she thinks. But okay. until then, we'll see you on the next episode of Marty Land. Do not forget to subscribe. And please throw down comments if you liked it. Like it if you liked it. And in the future, be a little bit happier. Lucky that I grew up in a home that wanted me to shine Lucky that I grew up round some mountains we were taught to climb Without an inspiration, I don't think that this would be my life Do this for my friends who've scattered all across the country now